I bought one of these micro stepping drivers recently. In fact, I didn't buy one, I bought uh, a couple of different drivers. Here's another one as well, bigger brother, uh, slightly more expensive. Uh, for this one, um, the model, which I noted down on the box when it was delivered, is a TB6600. I paid £5.76, including shipping. It was uh, purchased via eBay. Uh, it seems to work quite well, I'm quite pleased with it so far. I have uh, noticed that this heatsink, well the whole unit actually gets pretty warm, so I think I will be putting that in a case, uh, having full stair over it, or perhaps fitting a fan directly to it. At the moment I've got it on this motor, let me just show you, I'm not going to review the motor or anything, but that motor, I've got several of these, they were pulled from I think old printers or photocopiers, so this one actually needed a rewire because the wiring was damaged. I've got several of them, so you know, here's another one, that's the original connector on there. Uh, but they'll work okay. I'm going to make a, or most likely make, a CNC milling machine at some time, so I can mill circuit boards at home. So, yeah, so I bought a couple of these stepper, uh, uh, micro-stepping drivers, so I can test things out. Ultimately, it's going to be Arduino controlled, but rather than set up an Arduino here to test it out, I wanted something where I could try different frequencies quite easily. So what I've done, uh, let me just move the tripod a bit. So what I've done is just hooked up my uh, function generator. I've got a variable lab power supply there as well, which I've set to maximum voltage, 32 volts. Uh, I've current limited to probably something like about one amp in case things go wrong. Hopefully they won't. And yep, yeah, so I can uh, change frequency. So if you look here, you'll see that's in kilohertz. So I can change the frequency of this. Obviously the function generator itself is not driving the, or not providing the current to drive the step motor. Uh, it's the micro step driver that uh, does that. Um, and it's a bipolar step motor. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to go into lots of details about the motor, I don't think, but uh, this signal uh, which I have from the function generator is connected to the pulse pins and um, it's running at 5 volts logic at the moment as well. So that's, uh, I can get a little bit faster. You can probably hear the tone changing as it goes up. There is a limit to the maximum speed, which I think is something like about 160k. Let's try this. Yeah, or the frequency rather than the actual speed. Notice I can increase it. Nothing's happening now, so I need to go, go right back and then it starts again. But really, I don't think that's going to be any problem at all. I'm highly unlikely to use any of these fast spindle speeds at all with a step motor. But uh, just out of interest, and I know that in looking on eBay there didn't seem to be a lot about controlling a step motor or one of these micro step drivers through anything other than using an Arduino. So here you are, there's something a little bit different for you. That is fast. Incidentally, if I go down to a more sensible speeds, so I can just grab onto this. It's It's got such a large amount of torque, I can't actually stop it in my fingers. Now, I know that you can't see that, so you have to take my word for it, but uh, it's a very, very torquey motor. Okay, that's it for the end of this video, and uh, perhaps I will post some more videos, maybe showing the other step motor controller when I have time.